I have done this video maybe the last two or three years and you will see from those videos that the kit is pretty much the same. There's only a couple of extra little pieces in here this year that have changed only because when I find a piece of kit that I love and works, I don't swap it out. I just stick to, to what I like and that is why the kit hasn't changed that much. Also, I should add that this is not sponsored not sponsored by any of these brands. However, in the past, I have been gifted a couple of these items. I paid for some of them myself, but yeah, just so you know that some of them have been gifted, so yeah. But I would never share anything on my channel or wear anything that I didn't necessarily like or think was a good product. So yeah, just, just so you know that. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about are shoes. And from October, all I wear is just these things. These are the Shimano, I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna leave everything in the link below. I definitely recommend getting a set of winter boots specifically for winter, just so you don't mess up your nice uh, road shoes or just get them like damp and soggy. Whereas these are just perfect because they've got like a, a rubber top, so they don't let water in and they've got like a neoprene like ankle thing. So it kind of stops water getting in. So they do keep your feet warmer and drier. So I'm gonna get on to like tights now. So I have two pairs that I alternate between depending on how far I'm going. So I'm gonna chuck these on here. The first ones I wear are the Rafa Shadow tights. These are really good, they're quite thin, but they have like a water repellent fabric. Um, and I really like these. Uh, these are what I would wear if I was gonna do like a shorter ride. And the reason for that is they are full bibs and I just find it really hard taking all my stuff off when it is cold to go to the toilet. So I do really like these, but for shorter rides. And then if I'm doing a longer ride, so maybe like an Audax or like a 200K or something, I will wear the pull-up ones. So these are again, Rafa ones, and these are fleece lines. So they are warmer, but they're not like water repellent. <laughs> but they've got a little zip on the back, which is handy for a key. But I just like these because you can just like I say, just pull them up, pull them down, and they're easy just to, to have on in winter when you need a toilet. They have actually brought out a pair um, of, ta of bibs that have got a clip on, but they've sold out. So they do sell them. I think they are a really, really clever, because I do put, I just think that, I think bibs just sit nice. So the only reason that I have these is just for the, the toilet thing. I do prefer how bibs fit and how they sit on you. Um, but yeah, I just don't like getting cold in the winter, taking all my kit off to go to the toilet. And then I'm gonna talk about the different outfits that I will wear for different conditions. So I'm only gonna talk about it in terms of chilly, cold, cold and wet, and freezing. Because I think people's temperatures are very different and what they can put up with. So this is what I will wear if it's chilly. So this is a Shimano short sleeve base layer. It's just really soft, stretchy, and wicks of sweat, so I'll just wear that under this Rafa, I think it's called the Colour Burn jersey. Um, long sleeve. Um, it's not really thick, but with a base layer, it's perfect. So you could wear this kind of like end of summer, autumn. I wore it when I did my Everything actually. Uh, but it's really nice with a base layer under it if you want to make it extra warm. Yeah, I just really like that. And then what I'll wear again, is an, a Rafa insulated gilet over the top of that. Um, yeah, so I'll wear those three together if it's chilly out. And the th good thing with gilets is I never used to really like gilets very much, but I did find that on a morning or when the sun goes down, like it's just a nice little extra bit of warmth just to keep your core warm. However, I would say if you are ever gonna get a gilet, always get one that's got pockets on. I cannot stand gilets that don't have pockets. I just find them really, not pointless, but I guess for me, because I do like longer rides, I want somewhere to put like a bit of food or, yeah, so always try and find, in my recommendations anyway, is get one that's got pockets on the back. Then, if it's cold, I will wear this. This is the MAP Pro Force long sleeve jersey. This is incredibly warm and it's water repellent. It's like fleecy inside. It's I really like this jersey. It's just like, I don't know, you wouldn't think for how thin it is, it would be as warm as it is, but it is. So I'll wear that if it's cold. If it's really, really cold, I know this is like not very um, objective, but for me, if it's like extra cold, then I would necessarily 
wear a base layer. I could wear a base layer under it as well. Generally, I've not had to because it is that warm. Um, but as we get into like January, February, I might need to put um, another base layer under it. And this is just like an Adidas one that I've had for years. It is, um, I think it was a running one actually, but I like that it's got a high neck. It's fleecy and really thin. Like again, this is like really warm for how thin it is. So definitely recommend getting a really good long sleeve base layer, preferably with a high neck, just cause I think when your neck gets cold, like ugh, I just hate having my neck cold. Um, and then if it's very cold and very wet, I will wear, so probably those together or maybe just the jersey. Um, and then I've got three different rain jackets. The first one is the Rafa Gore-Tex one. So that is generally one that I would wear or take with me in my pocket if I think it's gonna rain. Um, really good waterproofing and yeah. I, what I like about this is that it doesn't need reproofing. It's just always waterproof. I didn't realize that, like waterproof jackets, you do have to reproof them. So yeah. And then these are the other two that I really like. So this is the MAP waterproof jacket. I really like this because it is so bright. It's really comfortable and it's really warm as well. And yeah, rainproof, got a nice little pocket on the front. And then the other one is the Rafa, I think this might be the Rafa Suplex. Um, but yeah, again, waterproof and yeah, really comfortable. Also what I like about all three of these rain jackets, they all have double zips. So do you know when you've got a load of stuff in your pocket and then it means that the bottom of the jacket's a little bit tight, you can unzip it. I just think it's nice. And then also as well, if you get, if you get kind of too hot, um, because rain jackets can get quite warm in there. So I like that they've, they've all three of those jackets have got a zip at the bottom to kind of let a bit of air in as well. Um, also what I like about this one is it's got like a, a plastic um, like section at the back so that when you're getting splash off the road, um, it doesn't like wet up all your backs. Main accessory that I wear pretty much every ride, even like in the warmer months, I will take one is a buff. It's not a buff actually, the buff is the brand name. So a neck tube. These are amazing if you are like me and you get a runny nose and you just want to wipe your nose as you're riding. They're just really good just to keep your neck warm. And you can also put it over your head if it gets chilly, if you're coming like down loads of descents, it's cold. They're just a really good um, multi-use product so there's that but then if it gets really cold I will wear a buff and oh, are you ready for this a balaclava like I've had this a few years as well this is a grip grab one it's fleecy there's a little bit of like little holes over your mouth so you can still breathe this is so warm and toasty I used to wear this a lot when I was commuting in winter just a really comfy um warm piece of kit gloves wise i have two pairs so i have like a chili pair so if it's just a little bit chilly out these are endurers they've got the, the names come off of them i really like these because they've got like a soft bit on the thumb again so you can wipe your nose and yeah they're just warm they just fit me really well and then if it's really cold and wet i will wear Altura, these are, they say Altura waterproof. I've not found any gloves that are waterproof apart from Marigolds, you know, like the washing up gloves. But they are pretty warm and I will also layer them up with a pair if it's really, really cold. Do you know that the reusable, um, like, what they call, like, disposable, they say disposable gloves, I wear mine like at least five times. Um, under them just to keep your hands warm, maybe even more than five times. But yeah, I would recommend getting um, a th nice thick pair of gloves. And then the last thing, what I would wear if it is freezing out, so yeah, if it's literally like zero degrees, I will wear bib shorts, sports bra, um, pair of socks, and just go on Zwift because <laughs> I am, I just don't go out when it's that cold anymore just because it's just too dangerous. I went out a few years back and came off on sheet at like black ice and thought I'd fractured my wrist. It was just horrible. I will never do it again. So I will always just stay indoors, go on Zwift if it is around freezing temperatures. So I hope you found that video helpful and useful. Let me know your favorite pieces of winter kit in the comments. And I guess I'll see you next video. I'm actually putting on, I'm actually gonna go out on my mountain bike today. So I'm not wearing any of this. If you want me to do like a separate thing on what I wear mountain biking, then let me know in the comments, but that will actually be short because 
I'm just hardcore. I'm just hardcore when it comes to mountain biking. I'm really not.